एवरीवन टुडे लेट्स वी कैन डिस्कस द लिकोड क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 और 2 बाइनरी ट्री लेवल ऑर्डर ट्रैवर्सल बेसिकली व्हाट दे गिवन क्वेश्चन दे गिवन रूट ऑफ द बाइनरी ट्री वी नीड टू रिटर्न द लेवल ऑर्डर ट्रैवर्सल फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू टू राइट सी इन द एग्जांपल वन व्हाट दे गिवन दे गिवन 3 9 20 इट्स लेफ्ट एंड राइट आर नल नल and this 20s left is 15 and 20s left right is 7 and the output we need to return level order first 3 then 9 then 20 then 15 then 7 okay how the binary tree level order traversal is going to work let's we can understand in the whiteboard let's we can take one example how the level order traversal is going to work means first we need to return first this one and this 2 3 and this 4 5 6 7 7 as level wise we need to return our answer okay what approach i am using means what i am doing here i will be creating one queue data structure okay to implement the level order traversal what i am using i am using one queue data structure i will be taking one single dimensional vector with the name level and to store the answer i will be taking answer vector with a 2d vector okay with the name answer i will be giving first the root value will be pushed in my queue this one will be pushed on my queue okay now see the size is 1 okay it will travel up to 1 uh, i will check what i will do i will take this one as my root node means node it is the front element okay just i will be pop out this one will be popped out i will check for the one as left child and right child yeah it exists if it is exists means i will push in my queue with the two Three. After that, what I will be do? I will be pushing in the level vector this one node. Okay. After that, this the level one will be what I will be doing. I will be stored in my result vector. Now my two is the front element. What I will do? I will pop out. Okay. After that, I will be checking this left child and right child of this two. The left child is four and the right child is five. Just I will be pushing in my queue. this two as is there no what i will do i will be stored in the my level this is a node right what i will do i will push in my level now the three is the front element what i will do just i will be pop out i will be stored in a node okay i will check for this three the left child and right child yeah left child is 6 and the right child is 7 what i will be do i will be push it in my queue this three is the root value i will be stored in my level now this level as now 2 3 what i will do i will be stored in the answer i will be pop out now i will be checking the 4 as left child and right child 4 as null 4 as left child is null right child is null if it is a null means i will not push in my queue just what i will do store 4 in the level if i is the front element i will be pop out and i will be stored in the node now five node as left child and right child i will check yeah left child is null right child is null i will not push in any values in the queue data structure just what i will do i will be push my five in the level now six is the front element what i will do i will be pop out from the queue i will check for this six node as left child and right child the left is null the right is null what i will do just i will be push the six node in the level now seven is the front element i will what i will do i will be pop out from this queue after that i will be checking the seven left and right the yes, seven left is null the right is null okay after that i will be pushing this seven node in the level now this traverse is completed i will be stored these level values in the answer vector 4 5 6 7 okay now i'll be checking my queue Then my queue is empty. It is empty means it's completed. Traversal has been completed. Now it's time to return this answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Approach by using the queue data structure. Okay. Let's we can enter into the coding part. If the root is null means we will be returning an empty vector. Okay. That is the base condition. That logic I will show now. If now we will be initializing a vector of 2d vector with the integer type with the name of answer after that we will be creating a queue 
it is a tree node type with the name q now we will be pushing the root in the q we will start to iterate the while loop okay when the q becomes empty we will come out of this while loop okay in the while loop if the condition is true means we will create a vector with the name level it is a integer type we will be storing our q size in this size we will take one for loop we will start to iterate the loop the nodes of the current level if the condition of the for loop is true means what we will do our friend element uh, will be stored in the node after that we will be popping the friend element by using the pop function now we will check the node as left child and right child if the node as left child exists means we will push our left node in the queue the root node as child node it exists means we will push the right child in the queue after complete uh, iterating the for loop we will be storing the node value in the level after complete iteration of for loop we will what we will do we will store our node value in the level vector once uh, our queue becomes empty means what we will do our the level node values will be stored in the answer vector of result by using the pushback function finally we will return answer let's we can dry run this example okay see first the base condition we will check the root is null here the root is not null so this statement will not execute now what we will do we will create a queue after that we are pushing the root node in the queue the root node is here three we will be pushing in the queue now the queue is not empty yeah this condition is true now what we will do we will give the size yes the size is one our for loop will trap iterate one time now we will be creating a one vector level it is a single dimensional our front element is this three what we are doing we will be stored in the node okay uh, after that we will be popping out we will be pop out now we will check for this three node the left child and right child are exist yeah it exist 9 and 20 what we will do if exist means we will be pushed in the queue 9 and 20 okay now the node value is 3 okay that we will be pushing in the level this is level now this 3 will be pushed in this level See, now the size will become 2 when the size will become this condition become false will come out of this for this for loop okay this answer back level is 3 now we are storing our level in the answer dot pushback now we will be creating one answer which is two dimensional okay that three will be stored in this answer vector now the size is two now the front element is this nine what we are doing we will be popped out now this nine as left child and right child we are checking the nine as left child is none the right child is also none so we will not push in the queue our nine will the this is the node value okay we will be pushed in the level so 9 will be pushed in the level okay now the size will become 2 starting it will be 1 okay now the condition is true now our front element is 20 what we are doing we will be popped out now for this 20th node we will checking left child and right child your left child is 15 and right child is 7 we will be pushed in the queue now this root node value is 20 that value what we are doing we will be stored in the level is 20 now the size will become 3 uh, when size will become 3 this condition become false will come out of this for loop what we are doing this this level will be stored in our answer uh, vector okay 9 and 20 will be stored now our q size is 2 we, uh, we take an air empty vector okay now I will start from 0. Size is 2. Okay. Here front element is 15. What we are doing? We will be stored in the node. We will be popped out this 15. Okay. Now for this 15, the left child or right child we will be checked. The left child is null, the right child is null. So we will be not pushing the queue. What we are doing? We are storing our node value in the level. This is the level. Okay. We will be storing 15. 
now our size value will become 1 the condition is true what we are doing our front element will be stored in the node sorry 7 will be stored in the node now next up we will be popped out from the skew now for the 7 we are checking the left and right the left is null the right is null if it is a null means we will be not pushing in the skew uh, we will be storing our node value in the level the 7 will be stored in this level now the size becomes 2 once size becomes 2 this for loop will condition become false will come out of this for loop now we will check in the queue our queue is empty if it is empty means what we will do we will be storing our this uh, node values in the answer this 15 and 7 will be stored the size is now 2 when size is 2 what will happen the condition will become the for loop will become false will come out of this for loop okay? Now what we are doing, we are storing our node value in, in the uh, answer vector, okay. Now 15 and 7 will be stored. Now we will check in our queue. See, the queue becomes empty. If it is empty, means we will come out of this while. Now it's time to return this answer. Now we will be returning 3, 9, 20, 15 and 7 as our answer. You can check. Okay. This is the uh, dry run of this logic. Next, we can understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic. The time complexity is taking big of n. Here, where n is the number of nodes in the binary tree, and we are visiting all the nodes exactly once. So, it is taking the time of big of n. Here, the space complexity is big of n. We are storing all the nodes in the vector answer. It will take the space of big of n. Thank you guys for watching my video.